Kulapati K M Munshi. In the galaxy of eminent men of India, Kanheya Lal Maneklan Munshi is a shining star that still beckons humanity to the. As an educationist, Munshi ji was born in Baruch in South Gujarat on 30th December 1887 and got his secondary education from Khan Bahadur Dalal High School. Tapi Ben, mother of Munshi ji, was extremely religious and fed her son. One might say, got him with stories from the Ramayana, Mahabharata, the Puranas, and particularly legends of the Bhargavas and their great ancestor Parasurama. Later, the young Munshi read all that has ever been written about Parasurama and the Bhargavas. Wrote a brilliant series of novels on the sage and selected particularly the same subject for his Thakur Vasonji. Madhavi ji research lectures in the Bombay University collected and published under the title Early Aryans of the West Coast Young Munshi's parents Tapi Ben and Maniklal transmitted to their son the best that they possessed character aspiration and faith in God In 1897 invested with his sacred thread Munshi ji was anxious to be transformed into a Vedic sage and followed the prescribed instructions diligently at his sacred thread ceremony when she completed his high school education in 1901 when she broke the tradition among the bhargava boys that none of them could pass the matriculation examination at the first chance when he passed the examination maneklal munshi his father was beside himself with joy he embraced his son with tears of joy flowing down his cheeks he himself had not been able to fulfill his desire of passing the matriculation his dear son kanu had done it on passing the matriculation exam munshi ji expresses his gratitude to his teacher uttam ram who instilled in him self confidence referring to him munshi writes the teacher who can develop self confidence in his students is the best teacher later he had the privilege of having a stalwart like orobindo ghosh for a teacher at baroda college in the baroda college munshi came under the influence of two teachers jagjeevan shah and shri orobindo ghosh when shri orobindo ghosh began to practice yoga giving up his european ways of life munshi ji developed a high regard for him the textbooks didn't satisfy his passion for reading so he sought solace in english poetry His favorite authors at this time were Burke and Wills, Tennyson and Shelley, Byron. In 1904, Munshi ji started his career in social service by organizing along with some friends a free library in his native town Broch where they would be free to subscribe to Sri Aurobindo's newspaper and the One Day Matra. 1905 passed first LLB with first class winning a prize. 1906 passed BA winning a light memorial prize 1910 enrolled as pleader on the appellate side of Bombay High Court 1911 became secretary of Gujarat Sabha after completing his law degree from Bombay University he enrolled himself as advocate in the year 1913 as his fame spread he started getting cases from all over India In 1992, Munshi ji founded Gujarati Sahitya Sansad and Gujarat, an illustrated monthly, and became its joint editor. Munshi has been a working journalist, or as the chairman of the reception committee of the Federation of Working Journalists, hailed him at Lucknow, a hard-working journalist. Kulapati's letters. Kulapati Munshi wrote a series of letters which impart knowledge, wisdom, and universal spirit in the hearts of the men. These letters constitute. the main attraction of the bhavan's journal which reaches over the thousands of subscribers besides being published in a number of newspapers and magazines throughout the country indeed the moral education that the readers learn from these letters are precious than any material asset 1926 elected vice president of gujarat sahitya parishad 1927 elected chairman of the Gujarat Board of Studies of the Bombay University elected to the Bombay Legislative Council 1928 assisted in piloting the Bombay University Bill appointed chairman of the Physical Culture Committee and the member of the Secondary Education Committee by the Bombay government 1929 
elected member of the Academic Council of Board of Postgraduate Studies of Bombay University, appointed trustee of the Baj Kabibai Trust. He joined the Swaraj Party but returned to the Indian National Congress with the launch of the Salt Satyagraha in 1930. 1929, appointed chairman of the Bardoli Committee of Inquiry, re-elected to the Bombay Legislative Council. 1930, Nominated substitute member of the Working Committee of the Congress, founded the Bombay City Ambulance Corps and was elected its president. 1935, elected vice chairman of the Fellowship School Society. 1936, started the Hans Limited, which took over the Hindi magazine Hans and became its joint editor with Hindi writer Premchand. 1937, elected president of the Gujarat Sahitya Parishad. In 1946, Munshi Ji was appointed to the Experts Committee for drafting the Constitution of India and elected to the Constituent Assembly. He spoke with the devotion to the concept of a strong and unified motherland must definitely have weighed the government when it appointed him as the Agent General of the Government of India in Hyderabad. The One Mahotsa was initiated by Mr. K.M. Munshi in 1915. His aim was to increase the area under the forest cover by planting more trees. Munshiji's services as Union Minister for Food and Agriculture between 1950 and 1952 saw him in yet another nation-building role. The governorship of Uttar Pradesh, which Munshiji held from 1952 to 1957, saw him establish the healthiest of conventions. Versatile, a philosopher in action, man of great ideas and great courage, multifaceted genius. These are the ways in which friends and admirers describe Dr. Kanhayalal Maniklal Munshi, the founder of the Bharatiya Vidya Bhavan. Munshi was an active participant in the Indian independence movement ever since the advent of Mahatma Gandhi. Early in life, he became interested in education. He found in it the creative art of life. As chairman of a government-appointed committee, he framed a scheme for physical education, organized, established or conducted educational institutions of several kinds ranging from a home for delinquent children to the Institute of Agriculture at Anand, including colleges, hostels, schools. As food minister organized the Indian Council of Agriculture Research, as chancellor of the UP universities, reorganized and stabilized some of them. The basic object was the propagation of Bhartiya Vidya Bhavan, in essence, is Dharma in its triple aspects of Satyam, Shivam, Sundaram. The Bhartiya Vidya Bhavans, which Munshiji has built up step by step, is a living embodiment of his mission. It's something more than a mere educational and cultural institution with an international reputation. It's a movement embodying the mission and the message of Indian culture and Bharatiya Shiksha. Verily, can Munshiji, as the Kulupati of the Bhavan, lay the flattering unction to his soul that his dreams of Indian culture have taken some concrete shape through the activities of his institution. Munshi's fondness for music, drama and dance expressed itself into giving them a place not only in his own life but in the life of others. Munshi has composed dance, dramas and plays, directed their performances, written scenarios and sometimes gone to the studio for helping the editing of the films. His varied tastes and versatile interests embrace almost the whole of life and culture. He has lived and lives a life of ceaseless work enriched by the beauty and the joy of the moment. Munshiji has written 56 books in Gujarati and 94 in English. Many of his books have been translated into Marathi, Hindi and other languages. Salutations to the spirit of Munshiji that is ever inspiring the posterity.